What's going on, Disney fans? It's Disney Dan here with another journey back in time with a new episode of Distory, a Disney history lesson. Just a quick thanks to all the folks out there who like, comment, and subscribe on our videos. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. Lots of great Disney content coming your way very soon. For episode 15 of Distory, let's take a look back at one big, iconic character and one of the biggest, most iconic parades in the entire world. With a special thanks to Zach613 for suggesting this topic. You rock, dude. Great idea. From the opening day of Disneyland in 1955 to today, at 2 p.m. on the streets of Magic Kingdom in Florida, there have always been parades at the Disney parks. In fact, I might say that parades and Disney parks go together like churros and chocolate dip, or Mickey-shaped pretzels and warm cheese, or, or Dole Whip and pineapple juice. Every day, a daily stream of performers roll down the paved streets of Disney parks in elaborate costumes, giant floats, and silly vehicles. It's an iconic part of any Disney dream vacation by either watching them, uh, ducking them, or using them to your advantage to get shorter wait times on rides. That's a real trick, people. If you haven't been doing that, you definitely should. So it may surprise you that Disney got into parades over 20 years before the first park ever even opened. That's right, Walt Disney himself was one of the original pioneers to jump on parade entertainment all the way back in 1934. Back then, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade wasn't what we think of it today. In fact, it wasn't even called that. And while the many decades have brought the millions that watched the Macy's Parade live, the many themed floats or marching bands, the real spectacle is the giant balloons. The giant inflatable characters are part of what make the yearly parade so iconic and memorable. When your favorite character is blown up to larger than life proportions and floats high above you in the streets of New York, the feeling is unlike any other. In fact, Mickey Mouse was one of the first character balloons ever to be produced for the parade. So let's rewind the clock and look back at the evolution of the Mickey Mouse parade balloons with a little bit of Thanksgiving Day parade history peppered in. Mickey Mouse first burst onto the scene in 1934. Oh, wait a minute. This is a video about balloons. Perhaps burst onto the scene is a bad choice of words. Um, technically speaking, this isn't the first Mickey Mouse balloon to be made for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade because when this inflatable Mickey first hit the streets, the parade was actually called Macy's Santa Claus Parade. Mickey was the third balloon to be based off of a licensed character to appear in the Macy's Parade only being beat by comic characters Felix the Cat and Mrs. Katzenjammer. This balloon design was actually a collaboration with Walt Disney himself and the legendary Macy artist Tony Sarg. Tony Sarg is actually a truly remarkable artist who adopted a love of puppetry at an early age and later transitioned many of the skills he learned building puppets into designing massive floating characters operated by strings. Kind of like a reverse marionette if you think about it. Sarg was responsible for creating the iconic images of balloons floating above the streets of New York, and you have him to thank for the decades of delightful characters that followed. With Tony Sarg's eye for rendering characters in three dimensions and Walt Disney's masterful animation skills, they initially designed four different balloons and finally decided on the one you see here. You can see how the early balloon designs employed a very simple flat patterning technique to make construction easy. Thick strips of rubber were cut into long ovals and pieced together to make round shapes. Luckily, thanks to most of Mickey's attributes like big round ears, a round body, round feet, etc., this balloon was actually pretty easy to make. Hand painted with his signature button shorts and wide-eyed smile, he also sported a large star on his chest as a tie-in with the Macy Company logo. A total of 25 handlers operated the balloon during the parade, each dressed up in a dolled-up version of the popular Halloween costume at the time. Some of the handlers even wore special masks produced specifically for the parade. Make sure to check out our previous history on Halloween costumes to get a close-up on some of these very cool masks, which actually survived and are still in some collections today. Two years after he debuted, his paint job got a little bit of an update with a larger star on his chest. This Mickey balloon lasted four years before being retired in 1937. From 1938 to 1970, the Macy's Parade would occasionally be littered with Disney floats and character appearances, but it would take almost 40 years to get Mickey back up into the air. In 1971, the Disney Company was celebrating the opening of their brand new theme park and resort in Florida. To promote this legendary event, the Disney team partnered with Macy's to build a brand new Mickey Mouse balloon. This balloon was a major improvement over the first one we saw in the 1930s with all sorts of new technology that allowed for greater detail in the balloon's design. Mickey would now sport white-fingered gloves, 
big yellow shoes, his iconic red shorts, and a big unbuttoned open yellow shirt. You know, because Mickey always looked like he was about to solve crimes on the beaches of Miami. That was a terrible Miami Vice reference, if you didn't get that joke. While this balloon was built and test flighted in 1971, when Thanksgiving Day arrived, the winds were way too strong and all the balloons unfortunately had to be grounded. A year later, when weather conditions were better, the ever on their feet marketing team at Disney pitched the Mickey balloon as celebrating the one year anniversary of the park instead of what it was supposed to be celebrating with the opening of the park one year prior. The following year in 1973, Mickey was brought back to celebrate Walt Disney's 50 years of cartoons. The balloon handlers for this Mickey balloon all wore bright red pants and alternated between yellow and blue jackets. I assume each color jacket represents a different part of balloon they were controlling, but after a bit of research, I couldn't find a single reference to that, so maybe just ignore that part. This new Mickey was used for 10 years in the parades and suffered all sorts of accidents and mishaps, sadly, none of which we can find videos or photos for. So instead of being able to show you what happened to this Mickey parade balloon, we're gonna tell you what happened to him and then show you videos of other balloons getting destroyed. In 1975, Mickey had a run in with a light post which caused his ear to explode. Then in 1978, a tree caught one of Mickey's hands and tore a big hole in it, causing it to deflate. Finally, in 1982, some very strong winds caught the balloon and threw it around the streets, really rustling up the handlers. It's not clear if the strong winds in 1982 caused permanent damage to the balloon or if it just had seen enough time and, and needed to be retired, but it was that year that Mickey left the parade and remained out of the spotlight for another 18 years. To celebrate the new millennium, Macy's called upon the greatest band leader of them all who's made for you and me to lead the parade. The balloon was inspired directly from the iconic opening title sequence of the 1950s Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. The bright red and gold outfit is accented with a large rope-laced buttons on the jacket, a huge feathered hat, and a really cool band leader's cane covered in musical notes. The band leader Mickey had over 30 handlers carrying him through the streets of New York, which led the procession of balloons, floats, and Macy's Parade official marching band. They were all dressed in similar outfits with red jackets and pants, big yellow buttons, and red knit hats. Sadly, this balloon design, which is my absolute favorite of all the Mickeys seen in the many years of the parade, was only used once. Interestingly enough, all the balloons you see featured in the parade are actually owned by Macy's themselves. They're responsible for building, designing, and maintaining each of the balloons. The companies that own the IPs the characters are based off of don't get to keep the balloons for their own personal use. Just in case you were wondering why you don't see these balloons being used in the parks after they were retired, technically Disney doesn't own them, which I think is kind of fascinating and pretty cool. They're all made in a special little warehouse tucked away in New Jersey, right across the bridge, not too far away from New York City. The most recent appearance of Mickey Mouse in the Macy's Parade was in 2009, when Disney announced their two new cruise line ships, the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy. This massive balloon was the largest Mickey Mouse inflatable ever to tour the streets of New York, coming in at over 60 feet tall, 33 feet wide, and 48 feet long. The 600 pound balloon took over two hours to fill with over 14,000 cubic feet of helium. The balloon was so large and intricate that it required dozens of handlers to move him down the street. Mickey wore an adorable sailor's outfit complete with the white sailor's cap, the blue and white pinstripe shirt with a blue blazer while riding high on a very large anchor. The balloon was designed for Mickey to travel almost horizontally with his eyes focused down on the parade watchers, giving them a big salute. But depending on how much slack was given by the handlers and how quickly they were moving, occasionally he would lift more into an upright position. The hordes of handlers were all dressed alike in matching Disney Cruise Line outfits with white beanies, blue jumpsuits, and sort of a decorative printed bib. The parade is typically very cold with a decent chilly breeze in late November, so a lot of effort has been put into making sure the parade volunteers are all kept warm and healthy. That's right, everyone you see in the parade is a volunteer. Nobody's getting paid. Sailor Mickey hung around the port of New York City for three years until 2012, when the two cruise ships he originally appeared to promote finally set sail. While there have been many other Disney influences in the Macy's Parade, nothing quite beats the legacy of the Mickey Mouse balloon. So let us know in the comments which balloon was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, we appreciate every single one of you. So please subscribe to our channel if you have not already. And don't forget to check out some of our other fun Distory episodes, which you can click on here and here or on our main YouTube channel. Can't wait to hear from you about which balloon was your favorite. Thanks again. And as always, 
you rock.